Hello friends, Marcy here. I'm anxious to finally get to share um, my ink swatches with you. Um, this has been a project that's been at least two weeks in the making. And so today I worked on um, swatching my current inks in my the back of my Hobonichi Weeks. And this method, um, I saw Life As Me use this method where she has um, cut strips from um, her printer paper. And this is a 28 pound HP. It is what I print my inserts when I cut for my wings um, planners. And so it's important to see how the um, ink um, performs on the papers that you use. So since I use that ink in my ring um, planners as printables, it I can see the difference in each ink on my HP paper, and then um, the Hobonichi Weeks uh, Tomoy River paper. So this is my Noodler's uh, The Heart of Darkness, and you can see how it different it, it looks on each paper. And then um, I didn't think to actually write the text under it until I did my second one. But this is Parker uh, Quink, and it's black. Um, on the box, it describes um, the Queen's Ink. And then Noodler's Black Bulletproof. And this is supposed to be a waterproof ink. And look how much darker it is on the printer paper than the Hobonichi Weeks. So you can see the characteristics of each ink that you plan to use in your pen. And when you consider um, where you'll be using it. And the Noodler's Lexington Gray. I really like the way the gray performs here, but on the Hobonichi Weeks, everything is very much more muted. It's more saturated uh, color on the white paper. So Noodler's Blue, Pelican Turquoise. And this Noodler's Blue, it's, um, I don't know if it shows up on on the, the camera, which is my, my phone. 13, not camera, camera, but um, this in the screen, it looks like this is more of a deep blue violet. And these are like, almost like a turquoise blue, but they don't show up like that. They're, they're coming across as more of a violet there. Anyway, these are inks that I've had for a very long time on these two pages. Um, the Rose uh, Noodler's Black Swan Australian Rose, and then the Noodler's Black Swan English Rose. And again, those are coming across um, much more dark on the camera screen than they are when I look at them with my eyes. So this is Cactus Fruit. Again, it's Noodlers. And then we have Diamine Pink Champagne Shimmer. I hope I can, if I move that, I hope I can catch some of the shimmer on that. Maybe yeah, right there on this. And then we have Diatramentus archival black ink and that's what I have inked in my um, uh, Pilot Decimo in Vanishing Point because I use those on um, Hobonichi paper and then the Diamine Ancient Copper is inked here and these little dots when I opened my um, Noodler's Heart of Darkness it is a large bottle that is um, the dropper fill and so when I it kind of burped and it dropped some dots on my page and I didn't wipe them or disturb them. But later as I was working, I kind of got a wipe and a smear on the bottom of my page before I got to it. So sorry about that, but it's there. It's like a reminder of things. <laughs> but um, I this these I'm recording samples that I had already. These are full bottle inks and these are samples up to here. So um, the samples I can say are from Goulet Pens and he has a little sample bottles. And then this one was an empty vial. Oops. And I'm glad I had it because when I recapped um, this red one, it, my lid cracked right here and I didn't want that to lay in my tray. Can I show that? 
so I just swapped out the empty, the empty cap, uh, the empty, the cap from the empty vial. But these are um, samples that I've had for some time, and those are swatched here. And we have the Diatrementus Plum. Actually, that one is one that I do have inked in here. Um, it says plum, and it comes across as more of a, a gray. It's actually a very pretty color. It looks blue in um, the pen, but when it writes, it's it's like a, a dark gray. It's called plum. So we have the Diatrementus Fog Gray. Um, the This is a nice ink. I actually like the way it it wrote um, very fine here because um, I use the same pen to write all of these and some of them come across more thick and wet and some are more fine and that has to do with the ink um, because every sample that I swatched um, I wrote with this glass pen so I use the same pen to write each name and you can see that some are fine and some are very wet. So the it's Rohr and Klingner Sulfurino. It's very pretty, um, like fuchsia violet. And then Diamine Soft Mint. It also wrote very finely. Organic Studio Nitrogen. I really like that. It has, um, I don't know if this is going to show up, but this is like a deep blue. And then this is, you can, can we find the purple shimmer here? And then the, um, when I wrote with the, the glass pen, the ink looks purple. So this ink right here is quite uh, chameleon. <laughs> and then we have um, Noodler's Liberty's Elysium. It's a very pretty blue. And then um, Noodler's Blue Bear, a uh, Blue Nose Bear, which actually looks like a green gray. And then Noodler's Fox. So those are the old stash of samples that I had. And then I've been on a search. I, I was looking for an ink because I wanted to find um, a gorgeous ink to match the burgundy of my new um, Pilot E95S. And so that, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for gorgeous burgundy ink. And so that is the cause for all these samples. Um, I have the Diamine Syrah which I love, I'm, I'm, that's one of my favorites uh, to choose as the ink for my new pen. Um, Noodler's Red Black, it looks more like a, a rust brown. And then Diplomat Burgundy, um, I have evidence here on my arm <laughs> that I actually laid my arm across while reaching. I laid my arm across there and smeared my lettering. And the burgundy is not coming across as dark um, on my page as, as it is on the camera. So the Monteverde Red Velvet, again, looks like um, an orange um, brown. And then Private Reserve um, Black Cherry. I like this color. I like the Private Reserve Black Cherry. I like the Diamine Syrah. And I like um, my Noodler's Black Swan English Rose that I already had. So I already had an ink that probably would have been sufficient for this pen and, and what I was thinking, what I wanted. Um, but then I continued to ink um, some more. This is another ink I've had for some time. It's Noodlers, it's called Firefly. And I use it in a, um, clear pen and I use it as a, highlighter I thought I had it right there so um and it's a it's an, a lamy a lamy um clear pen so demonstrator pen but one of my new inks um that I just received in uh latest order is J Urban uh Blue Ocean and it is has gold in it so pretty um the gold has settled to the bottom so if I leave it up turned up the gold will eventually uh, fall but look at this I think I want this it's blue but it has the gold shimmer and 
this is the swatch on the white paper on the Hobonichi. And then this is what it looked like when I just inked with the glass pen. There's no shimmer there because by the time I, I dipped my glass pen, it had already fallen to the bottom of the jar. But isn't that so pretty and unique? I think that's what I want to use in my new um, Twisby uh, 588. I got the 1.1 stub nib and that. And I think I'm going to use that blue gold. The blue ocean is so, 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 so pretty. And watch, I'm going to watch that gold fall. And then um, some of my other two new inks are the Robert Oster and I have the Rose Gilt Tint and that Rose Gold Antiqua. And these perform quite uniquely on my paper. Um, they are shimmer ink, the Rose Gold here. And then look how much lighter it was. The Robert Oster, I wrote, um, uh, wrote it with the glass pen here. But then when I wrote with the lighter pink, the Rose Gilt Tint, and it was very faint on the Hobonichi paper. But when I wrote with the pen, it seemed darker than that. Just these inks perform uh, differently. So these swatch books are amazing and very telling um, for to find what you're looking for because you'll it'll it will perform differently on different papers, but also differently when you actually write with it. I'm very surprised and impressed with um, the difference in these two pinks one being lighter but showing up darker uh, underneath because it has that overlay of shimmer that lightens it up so so cool to see that anyway i'm playing all right and then my other favorite is the diamine um writer's blood and okay this one this is a new purchase and I also have the oxblood in the oxblood in my cart I haven't ordered it yet I'm thinking I'm gonna wait because I have found a few favorites uh, the deeming writer's blood I think right now I'm gonna um, be inking in my cartridge um, I'm watching that gold fall there's very little left there but um, right now I have the cartridge that it came with, I went ahead and inserted it and I'm, I'm using it to write. Um, but I do have the converter that I'm popping there once I found my favorite ink. And right now, I think my favorite ink that I'm going to start with is the Writer's Blood because it's so pretty. I think it's a great match. I think I found my ink. And I want to ink up um, the new Twisby because it's a stub nib. I think it would be gorgeous with that glitter shimmer, gold shimmer there. And then um, right now, my Twisby Echo, I have inked with the Diamine Copper. Let's see where that is. It's one of my older inks. Oh, okay, Ancient Copper. And here it looks um, like a rust orange, but it doesn't really perform that way for me out of my Twisby. So anyway, um, let's get to inking. All right, I'm going to put this aside. Very few gold flecks there. This is such a gorgeous shimmer, which I do want the gold to run to the other side. Because when I do ink it, I do want to pick up some of the gold flecks. Look at that gorgeous bottle, how the gold has settled there. You can see the shape. This bottle is so pretty. Wow. Um, so I, I do want to ink up this pen. Before I ink up, let me um, back up and say, uh, I have a lot of other inks that are not in the swatch book because they're not bottled ink. They are cartridges. Um, and I just want to give a little... A quick hello to all the colors that you can get in cartridges. You can get a variety of colors. This is just um, to fit the Lamy. And then of course I have a variety of colors. Well, not a variety of colors. I have um, the blue black ink for the pilot. And so you're, you're not, if you don't like to mess with um, the bottled ink, you're not stuck. You can buy a variety of cartridges and they're just gorgeous. So um, I did want to share that and before I ink as well, let me just show you some of the pens that I currently have inked. These are 
all of course Lamy. And I like to ink my pens with a similar ink that is on um, the body if I can, because it helps me choose. Like when I grab a pen, I know this has the document gray. It's a gray pen. And then this is my Americana Lamy. This was a special edition, red, white, and blue. And I have, I carry blue ink in it. And then I love this copper. Um, this is the metal um, body. And I had the ancient, have the ancient copper in that one as well. Um, this Firefly is the highlighter ink. And I put it in the demonstrator pen so that I can see right away that is my highlighter color. And this Lamy has the... Um, black the noodler's black swan um australian rose it's so so pretty and then the australian the black swan okay black swan australian rose black swan english rose because this one has more of a brown tint it's a lighter tint so those are the lammies so far except for my rose gold um Lamy that is not currently inked. It's a special rose gold pen. It's just gorgeous. I like, I do, do, do like um, rose gold. So, and then this one is not inked. This was actually a free pen that I received when I ordered um, inks from Birmingham ink Birmingham pens it's so pretty it's rose gold and it's quite heavy pen um, I've never inked it um, I've always admired it and it did come being a free pen I'm impressed because it did come with um, the converter but I've never inked it it's so 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 pretty I didn't want to carry it and get the barrel scratch because it's so shiny it's a special pen so I do have some um, pens that are not inked that I'm not using, but I have those that we'll be inking today. If you're with me in a quick moment. And of course, um, my other Twisby, I have two Twisby Echoes. I love the demonstrator barrel so you can see what's inside. Um, and then my Vanishing Point. Um, this is, both of these have the document ink because I use them in my um, Hobonichi Weeks and my Wonderland 222 on the Tomo River paper. So I love these pens because I love the click and they have the fountain pen. Lovely. And they are um, gold nibs. So very nice to write with. As well as the Pilot um, E95S is has a gold nib, so it's exquisite. It's just glorious to write with. All right, we are going to be inking and using this. I'm going to turn it upside down. Again, I don't want to shake it because I'm about to fill a pen, and I don't want any bubbles to be in my ink when I actually draw it up. So we'll let that um, float down again. Look at the bottom of these just real quick. Aren't these so pretty? One thing with the shimmer inks, they do settle. That's so, so pretty. So you have to kind of mix them, but carefully. You don't want them to be mixed with shaking air bubbles into it. But they're so, so, so pretty. And just fun to watch. I mean, it's just, they're fun. I like um, bottled inks. So let's get to the Twisby. And the Twisbees are great. Um, this is a pocket size, we can, and I do love the rose gold. You can see the difference um, in the Echo and the Twisby uh, 580 or the Twisby Mini. And I did order the special edition um, rose gold and white. But Twisbees are so enjoyable because um, the simple capacity, the ink, the, you can see the capacity of the ink here as compared to a smaller converter, like here. I don't have much uh, capacity of ink here, but that's okay. We just re oops, we refill it often. And I 
Okay, so I have to be quick on the draw. Um, again, I'm not going to shake this, and there's quite a bit of gold left on the bottom of the bottle here. So once I turn it over, I want to be able to quickly um, get some of my ink drawn into my pen before it settles back down to the bottom. And you can see it's already going. So I'm going to prepare. This is a piston fill, so you have to, you can see the vacuum here. Um, I have to put my black ring or piston stop all the way down to the bottom and then insert my nib into the ink and we will pull up the ink until full. So, so pretty. Look at the gold there in the cap. Okay. It, when filling from the bottle, you do have to put it down, um, the nib down into the ink. And because this is a new fill, I'm filling a dry, <clears throat> I'm filling a dry um, feeder here, so that has to moisten. And normally I would fill it and then expel the ink and fill it again. But the longer I wait for this shimmer ink, the more of my shimmer that will settle. So I'm just going to do this for now. Look at that pretty gold. So pretty. And then the next time I fill, I, my um, feeder will be wet. I'm anxious to write with this. I've never um, had a stub nib before, so I'm anxious to experiment with the cool calligraphy um, lettering designs that I can do here. And by the way, this pen is a compact pen and it's postable, but it's unique in that when you post it, it's a screw on post. So you don't have to worry about um, expelling ink by twisting uh, the piston feed at the end. So I'm just going to grab a Astology notebook here that has some empty pages in the back. And this is the first time I get to write with a stub nib. So. No judging. <laughs> and I'm going to start off, I'm waiting for my my feed. Oh wow, that was quite quick. See, that's a very broad line, but I also have a very fine line by doing this. And the stub nib offers you the ability to do some calligraphy lettering. Okay, I'm enjoying this and I already know I'm gonna want some more stub nibs. I have to get used to how to hold the angle to hold the pen to get the fine lines and the broad lines that I want, but this is so cool. And I'm not seeing my shimmer yet. This is just the blue, not seeing a lot of shimmer from, maybe I'll expel and try to draw up some more shimmer there. And I see it very faintly right there. There's not as much in there as I thought I was going to get. Okay, so I did let the ink dry a little bit, and as I turn the barrel here, um, I can see some of the gold shimmer. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I do see it in there. And after um, the blue has dried, I can see the gold shimmer. I'm trying to get it in the light here on like the S's, yeah. So that's something I'll have to get used to when I'm writing, if I'm expecting to see the blue shimmer, I mean the, the gold shimmer in the blue, I need to let the blue dry and then the gold will settle and dry on top of the page. It's even in the X's here. I like that. And maybe I'll have to um, know that I'll have to twist my pen because I do see as that shimmer seems to settle quickly. Um, if I lay my pen down, it will settle to the bottom. And then when I pick it up, get ready to write, I want it at the bottom of my feed. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. I'm having fun with my inks. 
I'm very pleased with my purchases and anxious to fill some more pens. So I'll be sure to share more with you next time. Thank you for spending your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day.